In this video we're going to learn a method for adding and subtracting numbers that helps you work it out mentally. And the method we're going to use is called changing the order. So we're going to change the order of each question, sorry, of the numbers in order to solve each question. Starting with question A. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this 7 plus 3 plus 9. So we're going to switch the 3 and the 9 around. And the reason we do that is because 7 plus 3 is 10 and it's really easy to go 10 plus 9. 10 plus 9 is 19. Okay, so moving on to question B now, we're going to change the order again. When you've got a subtraction, you've got to be really careful. That's plus 3, so we're going to write plus 3 next to the 17 and the minus 9 we're going to make sure goes at the very end, moving the 9 with the minus as well. Now the reason we have changed the order in this way is because 17 plus 3 is 20 and when you're changing the order of things you're really trying to create situations where you've got numbers that end in 0 such as 20 or 10 because these are numbers that are really really easy to work with. Now 20 minus 9 is 11. Alright looking at question C now I'm going to change the order I'm going to go 13 and I'm bring, going to bring the minus 3 into the middle and the plus 28 to the end. And the reason I'm doing that is 13 minus 3 is 10. Once again, I'm trying to get a number that ends in 0, and it becomes really easy to solve. 10 plus 28 is 38. Okay, um, looking at question D, this one's probably going to turn out a little differently. Uh, we're going to change it to 12 plus 15 minus 17. So we're going to bring the plus 15 into the middle. And 12 plus 15 uh, comes out to 27, which doesn't end in 0. But it works quite, out quite well because 27 minus 17 is 10. Because they both end in 7, it becomes quite simple uh, to solve. Anyway, that's the end of our video about changing the order of numbers.